Hello cookbook friends, get ready for Halloween with the Wicked Baker cakes and treats to die for. This is by Helena Garcia. This is a beautiful cookbook if you are looking for a more elevated Halloween look rather than, you know, sometimes it's like a little too cutesy. This is definitely more gothic and more creepy. It's still fairly easy because I know some of us are going to be making a ton of stuff. Some of these are also still familiar to many of us, but this is really beautifully done. It's one of the better Halloween cookbooks out there. And since Halloween is coming up, I really wanted to show it to you. So here we have cakes and cupcakes, pies and pastries, breads and a rich toes. We have cookies and candies, drinks and desserts. So I think this is a primarily sweets cookbook. There are some uh, cookbooks out there that are Halloween-esque that do have more ha Halloween savory stuff. Not this one. Okay, so this is a poison candy apple cake. A cake, not just the apple. It's very pretty. So let's look at some more. These are cute little witch uh, falling apple or cakes. So you can see it here, let's go back to the actual dish. This says on the very top, I'm struggling to read cursive lately. So it says the witch is in the princess cake. So it's princess cake. We also have our list of ingredients here and our directions. We also have at the very top, it says, this is my take on the fabulous and cheerful Swedish cake. Layers of sponge, raspberry jam, and mascarpone cream topped with marzipan. This witch has been trapped in the cake and only her legs show. So let's look at some more. Jack Frost vegan coconut cake. So there's some vegan options in here, which is great. Not a lot of Halloween or holiday cookbooks will have vegan options or gluten-free options in that, for that matter. Here is so, this looks like a Beetlejuice kind of cake. This is the sandworm lemon and thyme cupcake really cool flavor profile this is fantastic another cake let's move forward beautiful photography i mean super stunning very very halloween pies and pastries so these are really great because there's one there's things in here that aren't necessarily too halloween e but they're you can use this cookbook for other kinds of holidays this is the pumpkin and orange empanada. Wow, that looks really pretty. Very fall. Flying bats, croque and bouche. So croque and bouche takes a long time, so just putting some bats on there sounds pretty nice and easy. Here's some cute little spider web. Okay, let's see. Ooh, moon witch blackberry pie. That's very cool. Not too difficult, I imagine. We have a Cousin It baklava. So cute. So if maybe, I hope Wednesday does come out a little sooner. It might come out around Halloween so you can make a Cousin It that, uh, cake. That would be cute. This is a traditional pumpkin pie and you can kind of put whatever sort of pumpkin pie crust crumbles on the top. Different donuts. We have devilish donuts. A double chocolate spider web bun. Super simple, more elegant. Tangled snake cinnamon pretzels. Ooh, and it's greenish. Sinister. Uh, we have a brain cinnamon roll. Yeah, that looks really creepy. And they are flavored like cinnamon rolls. This is a Pond de Muerto. And I think this is a pretty traditional take on the actual... Uh, bread that is served during Dia del Muertos. And then here we have I love you truffles. Those are stunning. Super cool. And I'll do one more for you. Oh, All Saints lollipops. Let's look at something else here. Ooh, ghost and bat jelly sweets. So something super simple that you can just have out. People can snack on them. Uh, you can put them in drinks too. That'd be really fun. There are some drinks in the back as well. So it's a really small, simple, beautifully done cookbook with a lot of unique flavors and recipes. It's definitely more elevated, not entirely like campy, spooky. So if that's something you're wanting, especially a more witchy vibe, check out Wicked Baker. This is a really cute cookbook. 
um, if you're doing a witchy themed Halloween this year. If you are looking for some more holiday themed cookbooks, we have a ton. So make sure to check out our playlist and join us on our socials as the holidays are approaching. We're going to be covering many, many different kinds of cookbooks that you can use during your holidays, including Christmas, Thanksgiving, that kind of thing. Um, and if you do like cookbooks generally, make sure to give us a follow and join us on our Amazon live channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.